OK, we're now going to use all those rules we talked about previously. Here we're going to expand this logarithm using the product rule. So let me write it up here. Product. Product rule. Um, So this is going to be log of 10 plus log base 4 of 24. And these are just practice. Express as a sum, a sum means two things are being added. And this is what the, uh, the product rule says. Log base B of A times C equals log base B of A plus log base B of C. And that's the product rule. Now here we've got the product rule, but we're going to go the other way. Log base T. We'll write this once and when there's a plus there, that means you multiply the arguments. All right, so we're going to have log base T of 26 times 67. It says express as a single logarithm. OK, but I wonder if we actually have to multiply those together. Yes, we do. OK, I bet it's going to be 1742. OK, so let's see. OK. 26 times 67. 26 times 67. Let's make sure. 26 times 67 is 1742. So this is going to be log t, log base t of 17. 42. That's as far as we can get without knowing what T is. Now this says express as a product. Well, there's no plus there. There is an exponent. So I know they want me to use the power rule. There you go. Yeah. Come on, you can't get up on the desk. So this is going to be negative nine times log base 10. No. Of C. 
you bring the exponent down in front. OK. And the exponent multiplies log base 10 of Z or negative 9 times log Z. Remember, log base 10 is the common logarithm, and we commonly write it like that. Let's see how they answer. Yep, they keep the base 10. Ow, George, George, that hurts. I know you want a Snuggie. There you go. Snuggie, Snuggie. All right, now this says express as a difference of logarithms. Difference means subtract. Log base T of D minus log base T of 10. All right, and that's, we just use the quotient rule. Yes, here you are. Now this one is hard. <clears throat> It has a video that goes with it. The first five problems in your homework have videos that go with them that show you how to do it. Um, five is difficult and I'm, I'll do it after we've done some more of these basic problems. All right, so we're just going to keep doing the basic problems right now. Some means add. We're going to be using the product rule. Uh, yeah, the product rule. Product means multiply, and these are multiplied. Log base 7 of 14 plus log base 7 of 15. See, here's our sum, that plus that. And new to use the product rule, one, because the arguments are multiplied, and two, because they said use the word sum. Okay, now they're starting to play with you a little bit. They're saying, okay, express as a sum or a difference. But notice that the argument is 11y, which means 11 times y. So this is going to be log base 2 of 11 plus log base 2 of y. Now here we also have a product, but we have a natural logarithm. It's just a logarithm, and it obeys all of the logarithm rules. So the ln of y times z is going to be the ln of y plus the ln of z. And this is the product rule. Same product rule that other logarithms use.
Now we're going to use the power rule because there's a power. What the power rule says is that when you have an argument that is exponentiated, how is that for a word? You, you take the exponent and you bring it down in front to multiply the log of the argument. So this is going to be 10 times log Z. That's it. Here we're going to use the power rule again because there's a power or an exponent in the argument. Okay, here's the exponent, negative seven. We'll have negative seven times log base C of X. Here's a quotient. That means something is being um, divided. We're going to use the quotient rule. And this is what the quotient rule says. Log K minus log of R. Simple as that. This is the common logarithm. So you don't normally write the base. The base is 10, but you just don't write it. Unless there's a reason. But why on earth did they write the answer way over here? What's going on over here? Nothing, they just did it, okay. All right, express the ln of v over t as a difference of logarithms. All right, and your answer is going to be, considering we've been doing, we've already done a couple of problems like this, the ln of v over t is going to be the ln of v minus the ln of t. I'm on a one woman mission here to put parentheses around arguments. Now we're finally getting into something here. Um, here again, they wrote the argument, but let's look at why this answer is the way it is. All right, here we have a difference. which means we're going to use the quotient rule. All right, so this is going to be log, which is log base 10. It's not important here, but you know, just say it. X squared plus nine X plus 20 over X squared minus 25. 
Now it says to simplify. That means we're going to factor and cancel if we can. So long. 20 is 2 times 10 and 4 times 5. All right, 20 is 4 times 5. And 9 is 4 plus 5. So that tells me that my factorization is going to be x, x plus 4 plus 5. Meanwhile, x squared minus 21 is going to be factored by the difference of two squares because x squared is a perfect square and 25 is a perfect square. It will factor as x plus 5 times x minus 5. All right, look, the x plus 5s cancel leaving us with log x plus 4 over x minus 5. That's our answer. That's our answer. Ha. So yeah, yeah, you're still going to be factoring. All right, now we're getting a little difficult, but look at this. They're giving you four choices. But these really aren't the kind of choices you can guess about. I would recommend actually working it out and that is what we are going to do. See if I have any room up here. Yeah, probably. Okay, so we're going to have log base B. Here's, here's the problem. We have a numerator and we have a denominator. So that means we're going to use the quotient rule. So these need to be done one step at a time. I am going to decrease the size of this. So that I'll have log base B of P to the third Q to the fifth minus log base P B rather, log base B of M to the five, B to the seven. All right, that's the quotient rule. Now, we have a product in here and a product in here. So we are going to do the following. I'm going to use the product rule. log base B 
of p to the third plus log base b of q to the fifth minus log base b of m to the fifth plus log base b of b to the seventh. Okay, now I'm going to keep everything in its brackets for a while. You'll see why. Now we're going to use the power rule. Log base B. The three is gonna come down in front, so it'll be right here. Log base, three log base B of P, plus the five will come down in front there. Five log base B of Q. Now, minus, we'll do the same thing over here. 5 log base b of m plus uh -uh, 7 log base b of b. Now I'm going to have three log base B of P plus five log base B of Q now minus I'm distributing the minus sign minus five log base B of M minus because minus times plus is minus seven. Ah, but there's a change here. Log base B of B is one. And seven times one is seven. This is our answer. So, that's why D is their answer. Let's kind of pull it over here and make sure. I wrote everything the right way. Three log base B of P plus five log base B of Q minus five log base B of M minus seven. Yep. But look at how much alike everything looks. You're gonna have to be very careful. An interesting essay kind of questions that I won't do, but I mean, it would be interesting, would be to say, okay, yeah, find the right answer, but then go through here and find every mistake and say what it is. What was the person thinking? Okay. So remember, ln is just a log, 
Now there's the answer right below us, but how did they get it? We're going to do it. Okay, we're going to have the take the ln of three minus the ln of two x squared y. Now this is going to force me to put brackets around the ln because, oh, I stopped writing the rules. No, I didn't. There's the power rule and there's the, um, the identity. Here we use the identity of log base B of B. Okay, now, this we're going to have to use the product rule in here. First, we use the quotient rule. Now we're going to use the product rule. So to separate these with the minus sign, we used the quotient rule. Then we're going to have the ln of three minus bracket the ln of two plus the ln of x squared plus the ln of y bracket. This is going to be, actually, we had to use the quotient rule, uh, uh, the product rule right here, product rule. Okay, for the next rule, I mean, I'm debating. I'm debating. Um, I am going to next because I, because there are a lot of people who are beginners in this class, and they, they obviously didn't attend, so they're going to be reading the the video, looking at the video, and reading the notes. I have to be really try to make sure it stays understandable. So um, I am going to go one step at a time and probably the people who are here don't need that, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So two ln of X, I use the uh, power rule right here, power. rule. Okay, brought the two down in front. And then this, plus ln y. Finally, <gasps> look what I did. I forgot ln3 minus. Let's stick it up here. ln3 minus. Whoa, that's good. Okay, now our final step is just going to use distribution. The ln of three minus, okay, now, ah, oh, all right, I'm paying for my sins. ln of two plus two ln x 
plus ln y. This, um, yeah, the ln of 3. Now I have to distribute the minus sign here, here, and here. So I'll have minus the ln of 2. Minus 2 times the ln of x. Minus the ln of y. And that should be my answer. Yep. The ln of 3 minus the ln of 2 minus 2 times the ln of x minus the ln of y. Now, pay strict attention here. This is a, an easy thing to remember. I mean, to forget. The square root of b to the fifth times c equals b to the fifth times c to the one half power. Square root and one half power mean exactly the same thing. So this is going to be log b to the fifth times c to the one half power. Okay. Now, I pull the one half down in front. So one half log of b to the fifth times c. Oh, I've got something in the in the argument multiplied. This is one half times all of this, so I'm going to have to put some brackets in. Come on, George. There you go. There you go, Georgie. Okay, get comfortable. Yes, get comfortable. Okay. I'm going to have to use the product rule here. So, this is going to be the log of b to the fifth, b to the fifth. b to the fifth plus log b, no, log 10 of c Okay, now, yeah, this is product rule. Now we're going to have to use the power rule because this five needs to come down here. So one half bracket five log b to the fifth, uh-uh, because we just moved the five, plus log c. So let's do that and let's do that. And so here we use the power rule.
Now, finally, finally, we've got this completely simplified. We brought the five down in front of the log here. And here we didn't need to do that. So we've got one half times this entire thing. So I'm going to distribute the one half. We'll have one half times five log B plus one half log C. That was distribution. Then we have to multiply one half times five. One half times five is five halves. So we'll have five halves times log B plus one half times log C. Ta-da! Okay. Now express, remember that watching the video, you can back up and watch this again. That was, if I dare say, very artful of me. Mm. Okay, now this is tricky. The kind of thing you have to have a teacher show you how to do. You cannot combine these using the product rule until you have this in the form of the log of an argument times the log of an argument, which means you can't have a one half in front and a seven in front. So we're, we're going to have to put them where exponents belong. Because if we had had a one half here uh, by C, we would have had to put it down in front. Now that it's down in front, I am simply putting it back. This is going to be log base C raised to the one half plus, no, log base 10, it's just log, log of C to the one half plus log of log of D to the seventh. Okay, so took the one half, put it up there, the seven, put it up there. This is what I've got. This is the power rule going the other way. Now, we have the log of something plus the log of something. We can use the product rule. This will be log C to the one half times D to the seventh. My order is going to be different from theirs. Oh, I know why they did that. We'll talk about it. Um, OK, this is. This is the power rule. This is the product rule because. Log of that plus log of that is the log of that times that. Product rule. Now, this is going to be the log of the square root of C times D to the seventh. 
and that's not the way we write it. So, since d to the seventh is not under the radical, we put it in the front. Like that. That way we don't have to worry about somebody thinking that that was supposed to be underneath. Because it's not. OK. Oh, this is the last one. Well, it's not. We have to go back and do number five, but it's almost the last one. OK. I have to combine these into a single logarithm. Again, I can't have that two here. So I'm going to rewrite this. Now you know and I know what happens when you square a square root. Okay, now. we're going to use the quotient rule. Now this is going to be, oh, oh, no it's not. Ooh. X to the fourth over X. Now, <clears throat> this is cool. We put this together using the quotient rule for logarithms. Now we're going to use the quotient rule for exponents. There, the ln of x. Now let me make a notation that this is the quotient rule for exponents. come back over here. So this is the power rule. And yeah, 
Yeah. All right, and then that's the quotient rule for logarithms. This is the quotient rule for exponents. Very cool, very cool indeed. Now, now what? I am going to do what? I know that this is going to take a whole sheet of paper. I have done this before. So I need to add a sheet of paper right here. Need to insert. Yeah, right after page four. Um, and I want it to be notebook paper. All right. And I need to go back to the top. Or almost to the top. Go to number five. This one. Express as a sum or difference of logarithms without exponents. This is number five. We're going to do this. Um, and I think I'll take the answer there with me. No, I won't. I'm going to be brave. How about that? Now let's go down to the bottom. There. Here we go. Now, what did you do that for? So, here we go, step one. This is the ninth root, okay? It's the ninth root of this stuff. So I'm going to rewrite it as log base C of x to the fourth over y to the ninth, z to the eighth. That's the ninth root, so that translates into the one ninth power. And now, since it's a power and I'm working with logarithms, I'm going to use the power rule to bring it down in front. One ninth times log base C of X to the fourth over y to the ninth, z to the eighth. Now, please look at what we have. We're going to be using the quotient rule. We're going to be using the product rule. So, 
we are going to have to put brackets around log base C as we begin. So we'll have one ninth times log base C of X to the fourth minus log base C of Y to the ninth C to the eighth. Okay. Now notice if you will, I'm going to have to use the product rule in here, which means I'm going to have to say log base C of Y to the ninth plus log base C of Z to the eight and this minus refers to the entire deal there. So I'm also going to put brackets around this. Now brackets and brackets is not cool. So remember way back, way back to pre-algebra, when you first learned about parentheses, you were told that sometimes when you've got parentheses inside parentheses, you change the shape of the outer parentheses. So if you have a whole bunch of parentheses and parentheses and parentheses, then you change the shape of the parentheses to braces on the outside, brackets, on the inside and on the inside of the brackets you have parentheses i am going to have to do that because this could get cluttered really fast if i don't so i'll put braces here and braces here. Now I feel better. Okay, let us continue. One ninth is on the far outside and is going to multiply all of this stuff. Log base C of X to the fourth Minus, I'm going to distribute the minus, uh, nope, I'm not going to do that yet. Log base C of Y to the ninth plus log base C of Z to the eighth. and then close my braces. Okay, now, now I'm going to use the power rule. I am going to use the power rule. One ninth brace log base C of X to a four that's going to come down in front. Minus, I'll distribute the minus sign next. Meanwhile, nine is going to come down in front. Eight is going to come down in front. So we, we will have nine times log base C 
of y plus 8 times log base c of z. Okay. Now I'm going to distribute the minus sign in here and in here. So I'll have one ninth times four log base C of X. Oops. Minus nine log base C of Y minus because minus times plus is minus, eight log base C of Z. Brace. Almost done. Okay, now I have to distribute the one ninth into here. Huh, yeah, all right, into there. And into here as follows. That looks like I'm saying it's an exponent and it's not. So we'll do this again. It's going to go back here. All right, here we go. Yeah, eh, meh, meh, meh. I should do it the same way on all of them, just to be consistent. Just slip it down in there. So, we are now going to distribute the one ninth. I'll have four times one ninth times log base C of X minus nine times one ninth times log base C of Y minus eight times one ninth times log base C of Z. And now finally, four times one ninth is four ninths times log base C of X minus Nine times one ninth is one. So this will just be log base C of Y. Because putting a one out here is, I mean, one times log base C, or if you prefer negative one, negative one times log base C of Y is just minus log base C of Y. Minus eight times one ninth is eight ninths. Log base C of Z. Ha! Huh. Let's see what the answer is.
There we go. Here's the answer. I'm going I'm going to copy it. And then bring it down, bring it down. So 4 ninths log base C of X minus log base C of Y minus 8 ninths log base C of C. Okay, next week, not next week. Next week you're on Thanksgiving break, the week after December 5th. We are going to solve exponential equations, logarithmic equations, and we're going to delve into the mysteries of science that use uh, logarithmic and exponential functions. So we're going to be busy the whole time. And then on the 12th, we're going to meet one final time uh, and I'll go over questions that you ask about the practice final exam. And then you'll take the final exam. You've got to take it before December 18. Okay. The end is nigh. That means the end is near. So, have a wonderful but safe Thanksgiving break. And don't give COVID-19 to any of your sick or old or sick and old relatives. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you. Bye. Bye. bye.